Hey guys. Hey guys. I know it's been a little bit, so uh, got another short little video here for you. It's my uh, Ruger Security 9. Now you'll notice it doesn't have the wood grips on it anymore because I actually changed them out, which was not too difficult. I didn't even watch a video on how to do it. I just kind of figured out how to do it. Um, completely changes the feel of this because I bought this um, new unfired in the box. I probably put mm, 200 rounds through this now. 357 is not cheap. <laughs> um, But the wood grips were real small and uh, kind of a pain because if you notice how you grip it, with this Hogue grip, it fills in this spot right here underneath the trigger guard where the wood ones didn't. So every time you shot it, your knuckle would get mashed right into that back of the trigger guard. So it was kind of uncomfortable, not terrible. You weren't going to shoot more than 50 or 60 rounds out of it at any given time. So now, I haven't shot it since I put this on yet, but it definitely feels much better. Now if you're wondering, because I keep putting my trigger finger on the trigger, it is empty. There's no rounds in it. But I like this thing. It's kind of old school. It's the only revolver I actually own because I got a really good deal on it from my local shop. Give you a close up look here. Now, this is actually a bicentennial model. So it was, I think, 76. It doesn't have the red, like some of them will have a little red strip in here. I haven't decided what I'm going to do about that. I'll probably end up just painting the front ramp with some nail polish or something. Because the black on black, just, it, you lose it every once in a while. So, not a big deal. It's nice, it's completely stock. I haven't done anything to the trigger, and you can stage it real well. The single action on this is really nice, actually. Not quite a hair trigger, but it takes maybe a pound of force. Let me give you a good view of that. It doesn't take much in single action. So it's re I actually really enjoy shooting this pistol. Uh, I honestly haven't had to do anything to the sights on it because it was dead on. So, I lucked out there. It's just a really fun, it's got some weight to it. This is my outdoor gun. So if I'm going to go hiking or camping, I will bring this. Because we do have bears in my area and moose. Not so much worried about deer. But, for moose or... Uh, bear, mostly black bear in our area. So, this is my go-to. Now, I was actually shopping at my local Walmart and came across some of this. Winchester 762 by 39 ammo for it was a little high on the price. It was like 14 bucks for the box. But all brass cased, full metal jacket. I was actually surprised Walmart had this in the case. So I'm like, what the hell? I'll grab a box of it. See how it shoots out of my uh, new AK. Which is right here. I haven't shot this yet, 
This is my DDI. Um, I really like it. It took quite a bit. You see the little silver from the safety where it wore through the cover, wore through. It took quite a bit of just breaking that in for it to wear through this finish. It's actually a really slick finish. Um, this is unloaded because I don't keep any of my guns loaded except for usually the one that's on my hip. So, real nice, smooth, got a nice trigger on it. The only complaint I had is this mag release is really stiff. But, I'm not going to complain about that too much. It seems to be breaking in. Mostly, you just, you got to use it, wear the finish. Because I think this finish on the mag release was making a little bit of drag, so it's harder to do it than it should be. Yes, I did change the grip, because it came with one of the real thin, typical commie grips. But I prefer the Magpul, the Emma. Uh, MOE Plus. So this is the rubberized. I haven't decided if I'll put the Zukov stock on here yet and get rid of this. Which I won't get rid of it. I'll just take it off and leave it. In case I need another gun. The only fault I can find with this is... I don't know if you'll be able to hear that. Gas tube's just got a little bit of a rattle to it. And I was watching another video on, uh, I forget whose channel, but KVAR sells a little spring that you can modify and stick in here where your locking block is, and it will tighten that up. Hopefully that will take care of the rattle. Um, other than that, I haven't decided, I'll decide once I shoot it, whether or not to change this, because this is your typical A2 style birdcage on it. I don't know how well it will work. I've got a PWS on my end pap, and that brake is real nice. Uh, just a little quicksy. Done quite a bit of dry firing with this. I looped it all up. It's nice. No problems charging it. It doesn't hang up. My end pap every once in a while will hang up, and you have to give it a tap to get it to go in the battery but that's not too bad of a deal so not really doing too much tonight so I figured I'd just make a uh, quick little video hopefully I'll be able to get to the range tomorrow maybe maybe not if I do I'll definitely uh, take some video shooting this and uh, Maybe give you another little video afterwards telling you what I think about it. But I can't complain. I found this new old stock. So it's never been fired beyond what DDI fired it to sight it in. Because apparently they sight these in before they ship them. Uh, everything looks quality on it. I haven't seen anything that really bugs me about it. Because I haven't bought anything sight unseen like this. But all the rivets look good on it. The safety is tight, but it's not super tight where you can't use it. It's got the enhanced safety on it. Not the bolt hole open, but easy enough to use. And I did finally get my AR built. So let me grab that and uh, I'll let you take a look at that. Now, this is built off an Anderson lower. This is a hardened arms complete upper that I bought for 250 bucks, which I'm not going to complain. And yes, it's clear. 
It's a Toolcraft nickel boron BCG in it. Uh, the buttstock kit I got off of uh, Classic because they had a deal a couple weeks ago where this buffer tube spring buffer was on sale for 14 bucks. So I said, screw it. That's a good deal. And I just picked up these Magpul sights, which, yes, I know I'm muzzling the camera. <laughs> I got to sight this in. I haven't shot it yet, so I don't know how well it's going to run. But the trigger on this thing is nice. I put a BCM nickel, it's their nickel Teflon coated one, which as far as I know, was actually made for them by ALG. And it's, uh, well, let me swap hands here so you can see. Pretty nice. But, like I said, I won't know how this thing runs. It's a mid-length gas system, so, you know, it's going to be a pretty soft shooter, especially considering the caliber, which it's just 223. picked up the charging handle which is just your basic mil spec I think I got that from classic for like eight bucks so I'm not gonna complain about that uh, overall I'm pretty impressed with how it came out you know the stock I'll probably swap out when I can afford to to a Magpul just because it's hard to beat them uh, I really like the rail one of the reasons that I bought this upper is because this rail. It's an M-Lock rail. And it's the thin profile. It's not a quad rail. So it has a similar feel to like a uh, BCM KMR rail. So it's that thin. It's an ergonomic. I may put a grip on it. I don't know yet. This is a 16-inch barrel, so it shouldn't be a problem. Real nice. Uh, the only thing I gotta still do is stake this nut and it'll be good to go. So hopefully in the next week I should be able to, hopefully tomorrow, but who knows. It's been thunderstorms up here all damn day. Hopefully I'll be able to get my new AK and this out to the range, get this sighted in. I shouldn't have to sight in the AK. It should be already pretty damn close, but if not, not a big deal. I got a bunch of mags already loaded up, so as it is, I just picked up some steel case ammo for this just to see how it's going to run in it. It may run, it may not run. If it comes down to it at that point, I'll just run brass case. A little bit more expensive because uh, I went to my local Bass Pro and they had just some of this Tula for five bucks a box. So I bought a couple boxes, about 100 rounds. So 25 bucks. Couldn't couldn't beat that price at my local shop for 223 ammo. So we'll see how it runs. Hopefully, I'll be able to get out to the range in the next week. But who knows. So that's what's been going on with me lately. Not a super lot. Just looking for a new job. Typical bullshit. But that's my little video update for now. I will check in with you guys later.